Hi friend, thank you for joining me. My name is Jenny, this is At Home with Jenny. Today we are going to be cleaning the bathroom in the master bedroom, the master bedroom, which is my room, <laughs> and the kitchen. So I bought a new cleaning kit off of Amazon. It's three glass bottles that have different colored silicone bases. This is white, there's like a light green and a dark green. And then it comes with three different cleaners to put in here a glass cleaner a bathroom cleaner and an all-purpose cleaner they're different scents also the glass cleaner is peppermint the bathroom cleaner is orange grove which i like and the all-purpose cleaner is lemon zest which is great makes everything smell clean and fresh and brand new so let's go ahead and go to the kitchen and get these set up all right we are unboxing the cleaning kit I bought on Amazon. Now, I, you haven't seen it yet, but I do not recommend purchasing this. It is, they're nice glass bottles, but the tops don't stay screwed on because they're plastic. And so, yeah, I just can't recommend purchasing these. So anyway, I just showed you one of the cleaners. Um, I'm getting them sorted out by color. I'm matching the print on the envelope to the, this one is the bathroom cleaner. You can't really read it, but I'm matching the print on the package to the silicone base on each bottle. And they didn't fit that great either. This is the glass cleaner. I'm gonna put that in the white bottle. But anyway, the silicone base didn't fit that great. There was like, a lot of space in the bottom and I did try to push it back on better but it just didn't make a difference so here you have to fill them halfway with warm water before you can put the tablets in and so here I'm showing you I filled them up halfway um, and then oh yeah here's the glass cleaner okay so um, there's two tablets in there that need to go into the bottle and they have to dissolve all the way. And it takes a little while. I was impatient and did not wait the entire time that I needed to, to get the tablets dissolved. So I, just, I don't know. Yeah, you'll see later in the video, I do have a little trouble. <laughs> my own fault, my own fault. It's fine, it's fine. But if you do get a kit like this, um, not this kit necessarily, but even like from Grove Collaborative or whatever, and um, there's another one, I can't think of it right now. But if you buy their glass bottle cleaning set, I highly recommend letting the tablets dissolve all the way. Just walk away, let them dissolve. Don't hover over them like I'm doing. It's annoying how long it takes. And these actually do smell very good. Each bottle smells like it's a signed scent. So the window cleaner was peppermint, or the glass cleaner, smells like peppermint, and that smelled really good. The lemon and the orange are my favorite. They smelled fantastic. So I'm just trying to mix the tablets up in the bottles to make them dissolve faster. It doesn't help. Just let them do their thing. Here I'm labeling them because I realized I wasn't gonna remember what each bottle was for. So I decided to be smart <laughs> and label the silicone because the permanent marker, the Sharpie will come off of the glass bottle with a little bit of water. And I did learn that. Um, I edited it out, but I figured that out on my own. <laughs> so here we are. They are pretty much dissolved. So I added more hot water and unfortunately I'm screwing the tops on which attempting to, I should have let the tablets dissolve more. They weren't dissolved all the way. I have my cleaning supplies. I'm in the bathroom. That's my fault. I have my glass cleaner, my all purpose cleaner and my bathroom cleaner. I have this for the shower walls and I have my sponge and paper towels. Um, I forgot gloves, hold one. Well, I went for my gloves, 
box is empty. I, went, I also grabbed uh, towels. These were put in the wrong cabinet in my son's bathroom. I'm assuming a while ago. They're not even folded correctly, so we're gonna change out the bath towels too. We'll be doing a load of a load of towels today to get them clean and back into the linen closet where they belong. So let's get these hung up real fast. So there's the towels. Yay. Okay, because it looks clean from a distance, I'm gonna show you how dusty it is. Like, that's disgusting. Oh, and we spray orange spray, <laughs> so it's all oily from the orange spray. Uh, the toilet is pretty bad. There's my trash, it's overflowing. It needs to be taken care of. I also need the broom, the vacuum, and the mop. Needs to be thrown in the wash with the towels. There's more garbage from when I did my hair last. Um, and the tub needs to be cleaned. Walls need to be scrubbed. So, all right, let's get started. So here you see me getting ready to clean the toilet. I'm messing with the bathroom cleaner bottle and I'm struggling. It broke. This the cap popped nice. off of the spray part where it comes out of the bottle and flew behind the toilet on the floor. It was cracked and the pressure that was in the bottle made it pop off. I should have left the caps off and let those tablets dissolve all the way. I hate doing the toilet and the tub. They're my two least favorite chores I despise. And especially since I was out of gloves, I really wasn't feeling this today. But once it's done, oh my goodness, I love it. My bathroom now feels so amazing and I'm so glad I did it. I complained works. a lot, so there's a there lot, a lot of, of editing being it, done so behind the scenes. The and the so, it, uh, yeah, I had to edit out my complaining and my whining. <laughs> My least favorite part of the toilet is coming up. I hate the underneath of the toilet seat. It is disgusting. That is the worst part of the whole entire toilet, in my opinion. Here we go. Uh, I had to edit out me freaking out over underneath the toilet seat. It's disgusting. I hate it. I don't know what to do about it except clean the toilet every freaking day. Here you see I have the toilet brush. I'm scrubbing the inside of the toilet. I'm just using the bathroom cleaner bottle. And then uh, I have a big tragedy with that one in a couple seconds, I think. So this is the best position for me to be in right now to tell you my outfit is from Torrid. My joggers, um, actually my shirt is Torrid and the pants are joggers that I found on Amazon. I love them. They're so comfortable. The joy of cleaning the tub and shower surround. So we have these big tile. That was it. The top flew fell off the bottle. The bottle. The, the bottle. 
The bottle hit the floor and spilled half of the cleaning detergent onto the tiles. <sighs> yeah, it just wasn't really my day. Um, if you hate cleaning your shower, get one of these scrubbies with the extendable rod. I got this on Amazon as well. What? Extended? Yeah. It really helped uh, my back uh, with cleaning. I do have degenerative disc disease and scoliosis in my back. I have a lot of trouble with bending over and doing stuff like that. So this scrubby thing really helped. Can you hear that sound difference? There's a spot on our tub where somebody tried to patch the porcelain and it's really rough and it sounds so loud when I'm scrubbing it. It's crazy. I feel like I should have edited more of this bathtub footage out. <laughs> it takes me a long time to clean this tub and um, I am so sweaty when it's over with. I was, my whole face was drenched with sweat and dripping and my hair was wet underneath. It was a lot of work to do this, but now I'm rinsing it. Up next, we're going to do the trash. So I was gone for a couple minutes. I got a garbage bag and the spin mop. It's kind of heavy. Um, because I spilled all that cleaning detergent on the floor in front of the tub. So let's do the trash. I'm sure I should put a grocery bag or something in the trash can, but we do grocery pickup at Kroger and they use different grocery bags. They're really big and stiff plastic bags so we save them but I can't use them for the garbage can because the garbage can is just way too small. Okay. Alright, I got a big trash bag because I'm going to empty the trash in my office as well. Oh my gosh, I am so hot and sweaty. Wow. This was very overwhelming for me. Um, I saved it for last in the bathroom because I wasn't really sure where to start. If you could tell, I was picking up the cleaning bottles and wondering what do I pick up next and where do I put it? And all I'm trying to do is clear the countertop. So I just decided to put everything on the rug that I was standing on and oh there's my water. I was so thirsty. I should have drank more. Uh, here I am with the glass cleaner trying to figure out how to make the bottle work. I did go back and release pressure from this bottle so I wasn't having a lot of trouble with it but I think that's the core issue that I was having with the bottles. There was probably just way too much pressure built up from the tablets dissolving.
here's the fun part. I get to rearrange the countertop and decide what stays, what goes, put stuff away. It's pretty fun, actually. I don't mind doing this part. It's the initial... Un that painting my daughter made for me for Christmas one year, uh, my daughter Taryn. I'm onto mopping and I decided not to sweep. I just made things a million times harder for myself. The broom was in the laundry room and I didn't feel like walking to the other end of the house to get it. So laziness, it's like a 50-50 here. It kind of wins and it kind of loses. It just made mopping a lot more difficult without sweeping or vacuuming first. But my husband was working, and he was in a meeting, and I just didn't want to bother him. Right there I was cleaning up all the detergent I spilled on the floor. It was a huge puddle, half a bottle. Yay, I'm in the kitchen! Okay, we are on to the second chore of the day unloading and reloading the dishwasher cleaning the kitchen i did lose some footage here you will see uh at the end but it's okay i think you guys will get the idea what i did This is a silly little shredder, like a cheese shredder thing that I bought. My husband saw it and sent it to me and told me that it looked cool, so I bought it for him. And then he, he was like, I didn't want you to buy it. And I said, well, you shouldn't have sent it to me then. <laughs> In the background you will hear my husband he is on a meeting and he is in the foyer which is like right outside the kitchen entrance so you will hear him laughing and talking and i apologize I actually had to edit out a lot because my dogs kept coming into the kitchen uh, to see what I was doing. They like to come in in case that I give them food. But we feed them in the morning and we feed them after dinner. So they have set eating times. This was right around lunchtime. And they just kept coming in. I guess they were hungry for a snack. As you can see, I'm loading the dishwasher now, which tells me I am one third of the way done with cleaning the kitchen. Then after this is the countertops, the stove, and uh, then I'm done. Do you have real glasses to drink out of or do you use mason jars? Let me know in the comments. We use mason jars and they're a blue tint mason jar that we got at the commissary on base and I just love them. I think they're so cool. Uh, I bought tops that screw on and they have a straw, a hard plastic straw that goes in there and it's all reusable. We throw them in the dishwasher. 
but I really enjoy drinking out of my mason jar. I get a lot more water that way and I know I need to drink less soda so I'm trying to cut back. Um, let me tell you, it's not easy. At like 11 o'clock in the morning I start craving Mountain Dew. That Mountain Dew that you see on the counter right there was my son's from the night before. I edited it out, but you will <laughs> not believe I have picked it up and drank from it thinking it was mine. And it was flat and warm and terrible. I instantly regretted that choice. As I get closer to finishing loading the dishwasher, I keep finding little things that need to be in the trash not on the counter, and I'm not sure why they didn't just get thrown away in the first place. We have these sil silicone mats, silicone mats for our baking sheets, and I love them. It keeps the baking sheets looking relatively new, I'm not embarrassed when people come over and see a baking sheet that's all blackened and disgusting. They get to see this. Here's the silicone mat. And all the food comes right off of it. We use it for everything. Cookies, fish, meat. I love those things. Now I had made brownies the night before and so that's what my big mixing bowl is in the sink for. I was letting it soak. Uh, I did it late. I did it after dinner and so I didn't want to clean the mixing bowl the night before. So I just put water in it and let it sit overnight and soak. Now we have a septic, so we do not have a garbage disposal in our sink. So we have this white, uh, what's it called? Like a strainer that hangs on the inside of the sink right there where I just put that scrubby. And that's where we put all the food scraps and stuff. And then I can dump it in the trash and then throw it into the dishwasher. Do you keep your bacon grease in a jar? Like what kind of jar do you use? This one is now officially full. Uh, my husband poured bacon grease from the cookie sheet into a mixing bowl. So I had to put it into the jar. It was a mess. I unfortunately was using one of my canning jars and I was very sad to throw this away. Have you ever checked the temperature on your water heater? Ours is very hot. I haven't checked it yet, but it's I'm assuming it's higher than it should be because the hot water gets hot. The only problem is by the time it makes it to the other end of the house into my bathroom, we never get hot water in our sinks. And to get hot water in the bathtub takes about three full minutes. Soon I will have a video coming out where we had to replace all of our wooden cabinets with these white cabinets on the bottom that you can see because when I came to this house it was flooded. The kitchen was flooded. The water line to the fridge had uh, split in behind one of the cabinets in the corner and so it flooded our house. We had to replace the lower cabinets and I'm going to paint the uppers soon.
Does anybody have cast iron and not know how to take care of it? Because I'm going to show you right here. I have a scraper from Pampered Chef. And you can get them really anywhere. Walmart. I think they have them at Dollar Tree maybe. But it just scrapes the dried cornbread or whatever is in your little cast iron pot out of there with some water. Don't use soap. Then you dry it with a paper towel and oil it before you put it away. These things are fantastic. It's like taking care of a Pampered Chef stone. It's pretty much the same thing. It gets seasoned. You leave it seasoned. You don't scrape all the flavor off of it. And they work great. It works fantastic for eggs, actually. That was some olive oil. And here I am going to spread it around and wipe the pan inside and out. Then it goes right back under the stove where it lives. This is my favorite cutting board. It is my only wooden cutting board. It's bamboo. Uh, so I guess it's a grass technically, but I love this thing. We use it for fruits and vegetables only. No meat goes on my cutting board. We have plastic cutting boards for meat, but I love this cutting board so much. When it gets used, sometimes it gets tucked behind the coffee pot and forgotten about. So here I am rediscovering it, washing it, and putting it back into the cabinet. Has anybody tried the new coffee pots from Walmart that are white with the gold trim? They um, match like my toaster, my air fryer. I was wondering if anybody has tried that coffee pot and what they think of it because our coffee pot is leaking all over the counter. Here's the after shot of my oven. I cleaned it. Unfortunately, the footage got destroyed. Here I am in the laundry room starting a load of towels. Let's start with my nightstand. That's my drink, LOL. I'm just starting small by clearing off my nightstand. I need a garbage all... bag. See? It looks a little better. I just have some small things that I need to put away in the bathroom. And I think I need to get the trash bag. It's um like little tags and plastic things from like Christmas clothes and stuff. And a lot of dust. Uh, this is all important paperwork that I need to put away. I guess I could put it right there for now. I don't know. Well, that's trash. Trash. Hey, I found a book. This is all documents I had to get when my driver's license and my military ID both expired at the same time. And it got ahead of me, so I needed documents from the courts to prove that I was who I say I am. Another tag. And uh, it was pretty stressful. This was a year ago, a year ago last October, so a little over a year ago. I don't ever let your IDs expire. In fact, go check them right now. They probably expire somewhere around your birthday, but not always. So mine didn't. Mine expired in like October, September, October. I think it was like the end of September. So when I needed them in October, I was out of luck. Before, this is 
That's my son's paperwork. Not the best plan, but I put them in my shoe rack over here. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to sell my shoes on Poshmark. Um, not having a lot of luck on Facebook Marketplace. I have big feet, so I need to sell them somewhere where I'll have exposure to more people. I have sold two pairs of shoes already, but if you could see my shoe rack, you could see I probably have about 50 to 60 pairs of shoes and I need to get rid of almost all of them. It's, they just don't fit like around my, my boots don't fit anymore uh, around my legs and then my tennis shoes are worn out. I probably should throw those ones away. But I have shoes in here that have never been worn and I don't have an occasion coming that I'm going to want to wear them so I can just get rid of them. need places to keep my little stuff. So I'm all cleared off now. Uh, this is a little bear somebody sent to me shortly after my son left for the army. And it's so special to me. Like it has our name on it and it's so cute. I love this bear. So I'm gonna keep it on my nightstand, but I gotta clean everything off. All right, let me go get my spray cleaner. I'm just gonna use this glass cleaner that I got that you saw me use in the bathroom. Oops, don't unscrew. This one always unscrews now. Okay. Uh, real life, this is, um, this is real life. This is a judgment-free channel. We don't pass judgment here. I suffer with severe mental health issues. Uh, even though I'm medicated, it's just not quite right yet. They keep messing with my meds, trying to get it right, and it's just, we can't, we're not there. But this is what happens when you're not getting the help that you need or enough help in order to be able to function properly and keep a house. That's the dust that was on my nightstand. It makes me want to cry because it is an example of how I'm feeling on the inside. But I'm fighting. I'm trying. It's always a fight. It's a daily challenge to get out of bed and do what needs to be done. And if you're doing it today with me, I'm so proud of you. You are amazing. My nightstand hasn't looked like this in almost two years. Next is my dresser. I wanna cry. I, I mean, this is also like my office right here. That's where my office area starts. And it's a whole bunch of vinyl and it's organized. It just doesn't look very pretty. Um, oh, and there's a, uh, what's this called? Not a tripod. What's it called? Maybe it is called a tripod. Am I drawing a blank? Most likely. Okay, so I'm gonna clear everything off put it on my bed, go through it, and then um, clean my dresser, you know, and then put everything where it belongs. Maybe my dresser will look better. We'll see. This is a wedge pillow that I was sleeping on. The doctor told me I had GERD because I was coughing a lot except I had COVID in July, got it from my husband who got it from going to work in the office. And so we all got COVID, but my cough continued until two and a half months ago, uh, regardless of using this wedge pillow, um, it didn't help. 
obviously I'm not using it. It did not help at all. In fact, I'm sleeping actually much better without it. But what did help me was switching to those herbal cough drops, the herbal honey ones. Um, I went through a whole bag of those in about um, two days, three days. And then I got another one, started going through that bag, not as fast. I wasn't having as many coughing fits. It was slowly like making my throat less irritated, if that makes any sense. I don't know if it was those cough drops or if it was just the amount of time that I took between getting COVID and getting rid of the cough, but it lasted until October and this is January. So I had a cough and I, and I, I got COVID in July, the beginning of July. So I had that cough for a really freaking long time. It was waking my husband up. It was keeping me up. My throat was always irritated, but I, I used those cough drops. They were herbal honey something. Um, you know the one, Ricola, Ricola, Ricola cough drops. So I used those for a little over a month and I got better. I don't know if it was the oils from the herbs that helped, I don't know, but it, it worked, it got rid of my cough. So I'm throwing this wedge pillow away is what I was getting at. Uh, I'm not keeping it. So I'm gonna put this over here at the end of the bed on the floor. Cause it's kind of a big thing. I'm going to start unloading the dresser. This was super overwhelming for me because there were so many little things. Like I had little replacement buttons and earrings and trying to keep the jewelry separate so I can put it in my jewelry box, which is right here very dusty. What is this? Compression socks. Oh, for plantar fasciitis. And then there was nonsense stuff okay. that I didn't need at all sitting up there. There's more jewelry. When we moved, all of my jewelry disappeared. So I've been slowly trying to replenish. what I had. Buttons. What is this? What is this? I don't know. There's a bunch of bracelets that are too small to go over my hands. Actually, will they fit in here? My uh, brother-in-law made this for me, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. I love cows, it's my favorite land animal. And he made me this awesome little cow. I need some frames. These are pictures of me with my dad when I got out of AIT, before I went to Germany. And this is my aunt. I think this is her senior photo, 1975. And then this is my baby sister in 10th grade. <laughs> I just need like a few little photo frames. It's not just any Pepsi bottle. This is a 1975. Tampa Bay Rowdies Pepsi bottle. It'd probably be worth more if it had the soda in it, but I don't care. I'm keeping it anyway. There's some change in here and a bunch of buttons. So 
So I think I'll put the other buttons in here. I made this back in 1999 as a gift from my daughter who would have been three at the time. Oh, this is heavy. I wonder what's in here. My sister made this for me. Oh my God, my jewelry. <laughs> Look, all my jewelry, it's full. Is my wedding ring in here? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to pause. I got to look for my wedding ring. It was lost in the move. Well, to say I'm disappointed doesn't really describe it. I went through everything in here. I found all of my jewelry except for my wedding ring. say there's a lot is an understatement. There's a lot of dust in here, so I'll be throwing this in the laundry room. Oh, it's recording. Oh my. So the rest of that stuff, I'll just find another home for it. Uh, this can go under my sink. It's lotion, sweet lavender dreams. I got it where I got it from uh, my nail salon place during Christmas. Okay. Everything is clean, dust free. Looks much better. There's only a couple more things I need to do. Get the laundry off of this chair. There's a couple projects on the chair. I'm just gonna leave there. And a pair of jeans and a red dress for Valentine's Day. Here's the front. And then my husband's gonna wear a red shirt with a red and black striped tie. And I have shoes to go with it. Uh, I'm just going to put these two things away and then we'll be done. Because I'm excited about Valentine's Day. We're going to dinner with some friends that we've had since like 2010. And then we're going to go to dinner and then go painting. We're going to do like a paint and sip and it's a couple's painting. So he does one side, I do the other. Here's his shirt and his tie is in here. It's a red and black striped tie. And then my dress. So that's all. Okay, I just swept. I have to dump the trash and take that out. And everything I wanted to do today, I got done. And it's not even three o'clock in the afternoon yet. Which done thank you for joining me thank you for sticking with me this whole time if you stuck with me please please put two orange hearts in the comment so I'll know you stuck with me this whole entire video I appreciate you so very much thank you for joining please feel free to subscribe and follow 
I will post another video soon. I'm not sure when. I'm trying to get myself up out of this deep hole that I'm in and uh, we'll get better. We'll get there. I mean, it's a roller coaster ride of ups and downs. It's never up and then you're good. It's always a roller coaster ride. So I really thank you so very much. Take care. Be blessed.